Black power. Your mama don't take no shower. Stokely do right here. And I am with the one and only Kamal Bolton. Let's give him a round of applause. Appreciate that. So, come on, thank you so very much for being on our show. We're going to go ahead and start uh, off with some easy stuff. You've been in the business for a while. Tell me, uh, how'd you get your start in the industry? Uh, <clears throat> well, thank you for having me on the show, first of all. Uh, it's been no problem. Thank you for being here, my brother. Thank you for being a friend. Um... Thank you for being a friend, Golden Girl. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, so, um, uh, how did I get my start? You asked me how I got my start. Um, I mean, we want to take it all the way back, and we just want to take it a little bit back. I, I don't. I don't know how far back you want to go. I don't know if you're more of an electric slide or a cupid shuffle, but it's all how you want to do it. <laughs> uh down down do your thing um yeah. let me see here um basically in high school uh i was i was trying to be an athlete uh mm -hmm. trying is the operative word right there um i was doing basketball football and i got cut from the team and i wasn't oh. doing and so i started doing a speech and when i mm -hmm. got into speech i started getting into musicals in high school uh I don't know why that lady let me be on them stages in the musicals. I cannot sing, but uh, <laughs> it, it led to me to go on to college for speech and debate. And then after I graduated from school, I went to school for business and I just realized business wasn't my thing. So when I was in Nashville, Tennessee, I started doing plays and that's how I, how I got into it. Oh, wow. So basically you were just unfocused all your life. Got it. You know. Sometimes you just got to find yourself. All right, we're going to just uh, keep it <laughs> right on going. Um, say I was, I, um, yeah, what would what'd you say? No, I was, <laughs> I was going to say that uh, you, you said I was unfocused. And, right. Uh, uh -huh. You didn't focus on anything. You tried to focus, but you couldn't focus because it wasn't the focus that you were supposed to be on. What's the, what's the question? All right, uh, we're just going to keep it going. I'm going to ask the question. You all right? My bad. I, you asked you asking the questions right. It's, it's all right. It's all right. Sip, sip. Um, so uh, the next question is, uh, you were on uh, Chicago Fire for a while, uh, a few years. So I think that the people would like to know, how much money did you make exactly from all those years on Chicago Fire? Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, uh, I was blessed to be on the show for four episodes. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it wasn't a few years. The show has been going for a few years, but I, uh -huh. I, I was only on it for four episodes. Uh-huh. Four episodes in one season? One season. Well, uh -huh. actually, no, 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 no. I take it back. I, the, the, mm -hmm. the first season, I played a cop that found a right. bunch of dead bodies in a semi-trailer and then okay. four seasons later, I, I got I got called back to be a fireman. All right, all right, okay, that makes more sense. So we're gonna we're gonna bring it back. It wasn't a lot of years, guys. So we're gonna change the question up. How about that? So with that being said, are you receiving residual checks from those four episodes that you were in? And if so, how much is that? Um, yeah, yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I do receive residuals. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a lot of money. Now, when you first start off, you know, when the, ep the episodes first air, mm -hmm. you get a pretty substantial amount of money. It's not what we as actors are worth, but it's enough to, to pay like rent for a month. But then as the, the years go by, they show the episodes less and less and less. And then, you know, I got, ep I got a, a residual check for like 14 cents, you know. Okay, so Basically, uh, he's saying that he's broke. So uh, if anyone needs to borrow money from Kamal, he don't have it. Hey, Amen okay. to that. I ain't got it. He doesn't have it. it. No. Okay. I would say Hello? Is it Kamal's money you're looking for? Don't look for it. It's not there. Don't. Uh, <laughs> not seek. You will not find. You're right. You're right. Right. Thou okay. shalt not. Correct, but you know, but you do have my cash app. All right, 
Now we're going to uh, move right along. I just wanted to know from you, and I feel like I needed to ask this in my spirit. Uh, you've been on quite a few television shows. Uh, I just wanted to know, which production were you a part of that you just felt this is the hoodest, most ghetto, most unproductive production I've ever been a part of. <gasps> uh huh. I'm gonna plead the sip on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can I plead the sip? Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. You don't have to answer a thing. You don't have to answer a thing. But we're gonna move on to see if I can get you to answer this way. How's that? Okay. All right. Uh, with that being said, he pled the sip. The sip, you know, like the blood. When you have communion, when you take a moment to yourself to reflect and say, Self, I shouldn't be saying that to the world. We will not condemn him. We're, okay, so now what I want to know is you were on uh, 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 Rosewood, correct? Right, right. That's, that's affirmative, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I do believe that the people would like to know, uh, did you ever get a chance uh, to smell Morris Chestnut? To, to smell him? Well, he just, he looks as though he smells good. So we just want to know, did you, did you get to sniff him? Like, like on purpose? Yes, yes, like a, a conscious effort to inhale his fragrance. Like, <clears throat> well, you asking me if I like consciously inhaled this yes. grown man's, uh, what'd you say, it's his perfume? What, I mean, his, 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 his aura, his spirit, his sniff, you know, his flare, his pheromones. Did you get a chance to take a whiff of Morris Chestnut? I'm, Inadvertently, I don't. I don't ever recall being on set with Morris and 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 being like, "I let me let me take that in." Hmm. Let me. No, no. I mean, the brother. Um, he didn't stink. So, are you saying that he smelled bad? No, so no. To, okay. No, no, no. I'm saying he didn't. Oh, um, so he he smelled. So oh. you did sniff him. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying he he hmm. didn't stink. He didn't have no bo. I'm okay. sure he smelled like success and dark skin. I'm uh, AMB products. I don't. I don't know. Cocoa butter. Okay. I, All right. So Kamal is saying that Morris Chestnut smells like dark skin, ambient cocoa butter. Ladies, he is no, 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 no. Don't, don't. That's that's not what I said. I don't want that being out there. Like I smelled the man. I. We work as actors. As actors, we we. Um, uh -huh. I, we use our senses. I mean, I use all five senses. I saw him. I heard him. Um, I didn't, I don't remember touching them, but if I did, it was a, you know, something like okay. that, like a, you know, character to character thing or a hug oh. or a tap or. All right. So we're just going to say the jury's out on Morris, on his, on his, on his scent. Is that fair? I smelled good. I know I did. I smelled good. You do, you, you smell good. When well, I was on let, let, let me, let me follow that up, uh, knowing that you smelled great. Um, because that's that's always important. Uh, what what bath products are you using right now? What are you when you are showering in the up and down area? <laughs> what are you using to lather it up? What up and down area like this? Yeah, the bathing when you're bathing. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was a different product for left to right, but okay. Up and um, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Stokely. I, don't know. I use Stokely um, do right. Stokely do right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I use. Um, I don't want to give nobody no free advertisement, but you can find I, the stuff I use. You can find that. <laughs> Damn, I gave <laughs> the advertisement. Well, um, you know, you never know what's gonna happen till it happens, and you're right. I don't want you to do anything you're gonna get paid for. So this is gonna be my last question. Okay. All right. Um, so I wanna know when you are on set, what production have you been a part of where people showed up 
or let's say a person showed up and did not know any of that daggone line. And you thought, this is crazy. You are X, Y, and Z. You should definitely have shown up <laughs> knowing your lines because you number one and two on the call sheet. <laughs> you ain't know nothing. <laughs> Who is that person? Um, okay. Uh -huh. I feel like I haven't answered any questions that 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 the people want to hear. Uh huh. Uh huh. It I happens. Said, right. And I didn't want to be. I didn't want to be that guest on your show that didn't answer questions. You know that people want to hear. So what I will say is this: I will say who who did know their lines out of out of some of the bigger shows I've done, and then you can you can extrapolate from that okay. there. You know what I mean? Um. I've been on some TV shows like the Law and Order SVUs and the, the, mm -hmm. the major crimes and the NCISs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I would say, um, put it like this. All right, we, we, are, we are going all the way around the mulberry bush. Yes, we are. Oh, all right, so like a nursery rhyme. <laughs> all around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. I just didn't start skipping. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I would say this. Mm -hmm. the, the, the older the actor that I've worked with, like the older, older, they didn't know their lines. And I'm not saying it's because they didn't take they, they geek or the boba or whatever, uh, you know, you uh, call them supplements. I'm saying okay. they've done it so much that, you know, they can get on set and within a take or two, Mm -hmm. they they got it so the older the actor you know when they get up to that marlon brando age okay. they don't really okay. they don't really take time to be in the, the trailer learning a whole bunch of lines okay i just want to go on record saying that we are not um our, our guest comments and we don't not, we don't have a problem with the elderly okay that's not what we have, no. we have a problem with the elderly. No. okay no. we love all elderly actors and we don't want to change anything about them all right i just wanted to go on record saying it. so thank you so very much kamal for coming on to the well, show it, you have it, been great I, i'm sorry uh, what hmm? i did it came off like i was hating on the elderly or something oh no no <laughs> no never said that never called you a hater brother he ain't no hater <laughs> Not them all. All right. Thank you so much for uh, joining our show. Uh, come on. While we're talking about it, um, is there anything you want to tell me that you're working on now? Anything that you feel like the people should know? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um. So I just finished up an amazing comedy, uh, studio comedy with Fox and Hulu. Um. It's called Vacation Friends. And that's starring uh, Lil Rel, uh, John oh. Cena, Yvonne oh. Orji, uh, uh, um, who else? Meredith, Hav Meredith Hagner. I messed up her name. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a whole bunch of uh, King Batches in it. I'm in it. It's oh. going to be amazing comedy. comedy oh, that sounds yeah. awesome. Because who doesn't need a vacation? Okay. Who doesn't need somewhere to go and do a little something a little different? <laughs> Right. I'm gonna be watching. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Yep. Vacation friends can't wait to see you in 2021. I mean, because that's the next time we're gonna actually be able to take a vacation up in this garden too. <laughs> you are appreciated. Don't we appreciate them, everybody? Give a couple of <laughs> for the one and only to Mark Bowden. Okay, so one <laughs> other thing, can we add? Uh... <laughs> Wait, I gotta see Kamal's face because Kamal looks like he hates everything about me right now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Kamal was looking at me.